good morning my loves i am in a huge there we go it's focused in a huge rush i need to go oh my god my nose contour oh i know some people say sometimes it is bad but that is bad i need to blend that in somehow um however uh, i'm panicking i am off to cheeky max we are out of lockdown and i've got shopping to do oh my goodness so i'm gonna go and get some shopping done right i'll see you guys when i've actually caught myself caught up with myself so guys i think i was just like so busy early I, well i was just in such a rush uh, but things are a little bit calmed down now uh, so yeah we are so we i um and one of my sisters is heading to tk maxx um because i've got so much shopping to do and plus we're out of lockdown so it's just nice to get out a little bit so we're gonna go ahead and do that and of course you guys know me if there's one shop that i'm gonna visit like as soon as you know we're out of lockdown it's gonna be tk maxx so that's what we're doing of course we had to pick our battles and we chose ours so i'll see you when i get there so we've come so far they've got a good uh, puzzle selection but it's not that great in this one you know are we gonna go to another one we have to see if maybe we go to another one I'm trying to find some game we're just gonna go and look at the um candles i think they've got some candles but everything else is a little bit like there's not much about it really. there's nothing at all guys what about like no Oh no, the the cups are cute, no. but when do you ever drink tea? No, it's nothing. No. Nice we need to find like someone needs to Google. We need to find another one now. Like, oh, found the candle section. Gonna go ahead and see if there's any decent ones. My that I like it. Oh, that looks like it. it smell nice. White birch and musk, amber and patchouli. I think that might smell nice. We've actually come to another TK Maxx, this one's the one that's closer to us um, so basically it feels more like home and they always have good stuff in here it's got a home sense with it too so oh, I'm just seeing if I can try and find Mia some toys because I feel like she's not got that many toys however these all seem to be for like older kids I just want like something a little bit more exciting for her because right now she just has like handheld toys and nothing overly exciting I just want to see if I can get her something. I'm just picking Mia up a couple of books because I really sort of enjoy sort of reading to her. I think they're good for her. Oh. Guys, how cute is this sofa? Oh my god, I'm actually in love with it. They have such cute little gift sets. One of my favourite things, cushions. Look how pretty these colours are. I need a cushion. I don't need a cushion, but I do need a cushion. I'm gonna find a cushion. These are the softest rugs we have ever felt in our life. Oh my God, they're so nice. Oh, I know, I can't stop. It's, it's weird, I feel like a pervert. I'm a rug pervert. <laughs> Marcus and I are off to get ourselves a Dunkin' Donuts. Oh, that's cool. Uh, Marcus and I are going to go get ourselves a little Dunkin' Donuts because it's been a while. We've got a babysitter for a bit, so we're going to make that's the most of it. So, can you recommend So, we've just got our Dunkins. They do a Lotus Biscoff um, latte, but we just got gingerbread lattes because if you're like an OG follower, you'll know that we were obsessed with them at one point. But then we stopped when I got pregnant um, and we've not had them since. But yeah, oh, I'm so looking forward to it. It's got like little munchkin bites. Um, we're just making the most of it because my sister's watching me for a little bit. It's babysitting for us because Marcus and I had like a little bit of work we needed to do. So, I've got the keys. Oh no. I've got the keys and I think they're in my bag. Oh, found the keys. <laughs> Lattes. Uh, yeah, so Marcus had a bit of work too, so we've come out. My sister's watching uh, Mia for us. Um, oh! 40 minutes we've got some we've got our coffees uh, and what yeah it was, it was weird like me and Marcus were driving up to Dunkin Donuts and we were saying how it felt a little bit like before we had Mia it's like listening to songs and stuff and just like chilling us two together because we don't actually do that quiet. even though it's literally like a five minute thing for us <laughs> we're literally going straight back home but yeah so we're just gonna enjoy a little bit of us time in the car and then head back to our little meme schemes hi guys so we are well let's say we marx is uh, having a shower because he's had me memes for me uh, for the day he's literally not even had a chance to breathe because that 
is what it's like having a baby. I am sat here, I've just edited the vlog, I've got the fire on, I'm very cosy. And I'm gonna go ahead <clears throat> and start uploading the vlog, which hopefully you'll be watching. Well, you'll be watching it now, but it's when you're watching this, it's not now, which is weird. Uh, so hopefully you'll have seen our second vlog of December. Um, <laughs> my sister and I just talking, and we just remembered that Primark is open 24 hours today. Although there's no need for it, it is very tempting to do like a midnight visit to Primark just to see how if it was like calm and like empty. But I don't know because I also cannot stay awake past nine and I do need to get like sleep because I've been waking up at like 6am every day. It would be very hard for me to stay up because I had an early start today. But I don't know, might just do it for the vlog, Alina. Might just do it for the vlog. We'll see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and sit down in a minute and show you everything that I picked up from TK Maxx. I've got Mia to bed now. Sorry we've not shown you her much, but she has been uh, just chilling with her pops today. And then we just popped her to bed. Aline just popped her to bed. So you wouldn't have seen much of her today, I'm afraid. So I'm sorry. And you know, all there's some meme schemes fans out there. But hopefully the next vlog. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead and set up in a bit. I just need to get this vlog up and I can show you everything I bought from TK Maxx. I'm so excited. Our TikToks, if you've not seen our TikToks, <laughs> plug, my plug the TikTok, you need to go ahead, I'll leave our TikTok name down below, it's the, the Renz, Renz <laughs> it's the Renz family, so you can go ahead and follow us on there, we've actually been uploading like a TikTok Mia a day, on there. Oh, yeah. and you can actually meet Mia, Mia has made her TikTok debut, I'm just slowly getting my head around, um, introducing her to other um, social media channels, but I'm just, yeah, I like to keep her on TikTok for now, just because I can like put little snippets of her. Before I show you the, um, before I show you the TK Maxx stuff, I actually ordered some stuff from Zara and it's just come. So I just want to quickly show you this because it's adorable. So it's my friend's daughter's birthday and obviously I didn't get a chance to go out and get her anything. But how cute is this jumper? I wish they did it in adult version and also I wish they did it in meme schemes version. But this is the prettiest jumper from Zara. It is so incredibly soft. The pearl beads on there are such a lovely like feature. They're not on the back. They're just around the front. And oh my god, you need to feel how soft this is. It's and it's quite a thick, yeah, it's quite a thick jumper. And I'm absolutely in love with it. The colour, everything. Like I honestly wish they did this in the adult version. I'm going to keep an eye out to see if they do end up doing one, but I bought that her, um, I bought it for as a little bit of a present because she's a little fashionista, so I thought that would be quite nice for her. Um, she's very into her fashion. She does a good job of it, so I thought it would be nice for a little collection. My meme schemes, I also wish they did these in adults' versions. Oh, they're absolutely gorgeous. Oh, it's a waffle knit cord. It's a waffle knit cord for my meme schemes. It's a little pocket. She doesn't need a pocket, but it's got a pocket. It's got a thick neck around it. It's got a crisscross pattern there in a different colour love stitching and look how nice the sleeves are such nice little sleeves like i've not seen sleeves like that sort of cuffed with like an ele elastic stretch beautiful and then they've got these matching leggings oh, with the with the stitch going around a different color as well beautiful little cuffed bottoms waffle knit absolutely love it it's so cute it's gonna be so cozy i like putting her in cozy stuff which is why i don't like really like putting her in dresses just yet and then we've got look at this Look at this, oh god, is this a little collar on it? No, this was from the girls section, it's got a little collar on it. It's got these little wooden buttons on there, which is so cute. It's another waffle knit with the same cute sleeves. And look, it's got like a curved hem on the bottom. And also, this can, oh, she can look oversized and gorgeous. And she's got some, some ribbed leggings. So yeah, I ordered them for me as well. And I was like, oh, she needs to have them. And I just thought I'd show you in case you want to get some. I think either a boy or a girl could wear these. They were in the girls section. But if you've got a boy, I reckon they could wear this as well. TK Maxx home set home. <laughs> so, I've got quite a bit to show you. It's my first time in TK Maxx home sense in a while. So I tried to make the most of it, okay? So I went to two, so I'll show you what I got in the first one. Um, I wasn't too impressed with that one, I just saw in the vlog. So I have a very bad habit of picking up stuff that I like, don't know what I'm gonna do with it, and I'll figure it out later. Exhibit A, this basket. How beautiful is this woven basket? It was just too cute. It was 3 dollars too cute to leave on the shelf. So I picked it up, and I bloody love it. Not sure what I'm gonna do with it yet, but I will find a purpose for it because it's like such a nice thick woven basket. Like this will last, it's very robust. Not robust as such, but like a really good material, not sort of like too flimsy. And next up, 
how cute is this this is like i have lots of gold accessories in my house and this being something else i just thought this was very nice because you guys know i'm obsessed with my candles however having your candles just sat there sometimes as pretty as they are can be a little bit boring so if you can be a little bit extra why not i assume this is what it's for um so i picked it up and i just thought that looks beautiful on there not just that obviously any more candles to come and i actually love this brand that's always like the india brand that they have they have the most prettiest items ever and i picked that up because i just thought that's such a nice feature i'm not sure where it's home is going to be at the minute but it's so pretty for 6 dollars I couldn't leave it behind and it's quite weighty so I think that's really beautiful and then obviously something else you saw I pick up was this candle I love TK Maxx Fair candles I'm always there always picking them up if you follow me on Instagram you'll see it so I've got vanilla and chestnut oh, it's just such a it smells a little bit cinnamony <laughs> but I'm always attracted to, to that sort of scent so for me it works well it's just such a beautiful like wintry relaxed scent and I absolutely love it I don't think I can smell vanilla in it as much however it is just like such a gorgeous evening scent so I'm really gonna enjoy burning that and for now it looks very pretty on there and then because one thing I learned is that as time went on in my own home was that accessories make a big difference like having accessories in your house really does make a home I picked up some peach fizz candy kittens these are vegan and they're just really tasty they taste a little bit like the halal haribo peach um sweets so I quite like them they were a little bit cheaper in there so I picked them up Mia's obviously been feeding a little bit more now so I just needed some bibs for her and I couldn't bother to order any online so I just saw these just like BPA free are they BPA yeah BPA PVC and whatever that word is free silicone bibs easy to clean waterproof 5 99 for two bibs thought I couldn't go too wrong with that she's got a cute elephant on that one and some animals on there so I just thought that's cute because she's starting to get really messy as she eats now because she likes to experiment and I like letting her experiment but then she gets it everywhere so that'll help maintain that very excited I got a friend's quiz so this for 3 dollars I thought it's not too bad but basically I'm gonna get Marcus doesn't really he actually he has watched friends but he won't beat me at this and I can guarantee I don't think anyone will beat me at this game because I am the biggest friends fan known to man so i guaranteed i looked at it and basically it shows you scenes of like the friends season says what season was this for what were they doing in this picture and i guarantee you i can name absolutely everything in this the reason i picked up a couple of games was because around christmas time when we go to marcus's family's house like on christmas day etc um when we sat with them we like playing games so i thought i don't know if any of them are friends fans but if not they can just test me on this and i'll have the time of my life so i picked that up i have not done a bloody puzzle in so long and then i saw this it's like a Stranger Things 11 500 piece puzzle. To say I've not done one since I was a child, I probably should have picked up like a smaller puzzle, but I did not in true Iris the Fashion make it easy for myself. So I picked up this 500 puzzle piece and I thought that would be really cool to sit down and do like in an evening, just to sort of unwind, put your phone away. I'm going to sit and make Marcus do it as well. Put our phones away, sit down, kick back with the puzzle as Ross would say. So yeah, I thought that would be really nice was just sit back and just take our mind off it and give us something to do that's not on a screen, which would be really nice because obviously we like playing cards and games and I just thought this would just be like something cool to do and if we get into it, I'll be happy to pick up more puzzles. I just thought it was quite a cool one to pick up so I picked that up and I think that was 4 99 So if you find them in your TK Maxx, a great like Christmas presents, birthday presents, whatever it is. And yeah, I'm actually really excited to do that. So that was from the first TK Maxx. Moving on to the TK Maxx slash home scent. <laughs> this bad boy. I'll get these bits out of the way first. So I picked up some extra thick potato chips, premium. I just thought that they sounded quite nice. They're supposed to be like really thick potato chips. So I was wondering how would that be? Would it be like very Moorish? It doesn't say what flavour they are actually. So yeah, anyways, might just sit back with Marcus and eat them. And I thought the packaging is really cute. It's like such a muted pink colour. It's beautiful with like gold on there. <laughs> Who thought crisp packaging could be that cute? And then we've got some macarons. I thought I've not had them in ages and I really miss them. I eat these in Paris like they're going out of fashion. Now, moving on, I wanted to get Mia some bits because 
she's getting older her toys are as you know she's happily engaged with them all however i think they're getting a little bit boring so i wanted to pick her up something but i didn't really see much that there was just so much there it was a little bit overwhelming so i just sort of ran through a couple of things and so like this my sister said that she'd love something like this especially when they get around this age because like they can chew on these she won't necessarily know how to stack these but i can sort of sit with her and when she's a little bit older she'll get the hang of it it's 10 to 36 months but you know as long as she's still fine she'll be absolutely fine playing with these so it's just like a little sacking a second it's just a little stacking tower and just thought it'd be really cute she'll enjoy the colors and everything and also i've really started to enjoy uh reading to mia at night time so another thing i picked up for her was this me and mummy she's got a i love daddy book that marcus's mum bought her before she was born and i was like right okay she needs to be reminded she's got a mummy too she's got four little books in there so i thought that was quite cute um so that what obviously when she's going down for the night I'll be reading her these books. Also picked up, oh, there's my mask. I was looking for that. Also picked up Mia this book. It says, Clap Hands, Here Come the Mermaids. It's basically a touch and feel book. So I thought when she sat down, not necessarily going to bed, but when she sat down and got a bit of time with her, this will be quite nice for her to go through. So it's got like little mermaids in here, but over here, like the mermaid's hair is like silky. So she can like touch that and have a feel because babies are really into their sensory stuff but, like especially at this age so i thought that'd be quite nice like the shell there it's um a bit rough so it's sparkly so she can sort of play with that and then this i just couldn't leave it there i don't i do not need this book but it was so beautiful it's the wizard of oz however it contains all five of the wizard of oz books in this so it's got the wonderful uh, the wonderful wizard of oz the marvelous land of oz ozma of oz dorothy and the wizard of oz and the road to oz so it's got the first five novels in this book and i just thought it was so beautiful that i could not leave this behind because i really want to get into reading again and i thought how nice would this be and obviously when mia's old i could read it with her and then give her this book and it's got this most beautiful like green shimmer pages i've actually not even opened it, it says recommended retail price so this is 30 pounds i got it for 12.99 so I just thought what a cool like old school sort of style book uh, yeah i'm just gonna actually really enjoy sort of digging into that of course it's not a nearest vlog if there's no candles but i will get to them in a minute my useless tk buy of the haul because i always buy useless thing tk max i don't need <laughs> i love things like this from tk max and i don't know why and this was 5.99 and i just thought it's such a beautiful display piece we don't need this but I just thought I can't leave it behind because it just it's totally goes like all the accessories I have in my house. Exhibit A, I'll show you what it is that I previously bought that I did not need. Marcus says these are useless. I have shown you these in other vlogs, but I bought a candle wick trimmer. I don't think it's useless and it's a very pretty gold colour so it goes with like the aesthetics of my house. And also a one of the kids bloody did this. A little candle, like it puts the wick out. So I thought that was very cute and it's just one of those things where I see stuff like this in TK Maxx and like, I have to have it. Like, I, I absolutely love it. And for being 5 99 I just thought, I have to. It's just very cute. It's got the cutest, like, cream handle. We've obviously seen it's, like, gold around the edges. Once again, goes with all the accessories I have. And, of course, would not be a Ursa haul if I didn't have any candles. Now, I love buying the big candles from TK Maxx. You guys see them all the time however they, it was a bit disappointing because they didn't really have any of the bigger candles in the sense i wanted so i just picked up um these ones so this is a classic panel tent i don't know how you say this a baked and fruity soft candle from dw home i'm obsessed with dw home candles like all in their scents uh, are amazing and this one i actually have the large version up on my display cabinet there uh, but it is dying um, and I do like that so much if I saw that again I'd buy it again but for now I just found the little version so I picked that up it's also a bourbon and buttercream DW candle oh it smells like the stronger scent of that but a little bit more fiery and yeah I just the scents that I like are always very similar like cinnamony warm um, musky smoked scents but it's just what I really attracted to. So they do smell quite similar. I'd say that one's a little bit stronger, but I just have to have them. And then this one is sugar and spice. This one actually smells a lot like it's always do you can actually like smell sugar in this. It's really weird with like the spices. Once again, quite a cinnamon scent. 
I'm fantastic with telling you what base notes and everything are, obviously. And of course, I've got, I did get Walkway with ones. I can't complain too much, but I like the really big ones. I think that was it. These all candles are all $2.99 each, which is generally what they are. That was it. That's all I picked up. And I thoroughly enjoyed going back to TK Maxx. I just missed it a lot and I will be going back because they are fantastic like HomeSense TK Maxx for presents like, You know just getting like really cute unique pieces because once you see it in TK Maxx was well, that's the other sad thing You probably won't see it again. So like just getting presents if I can pick up a couple of things for, like uh, Marcus's family that'll be really cute guys. It is three o'clock in the morning and we just got to the shopping center I'm kidding. <laughs> it's actually nine o'clock and apparently Primark like I said is open for 24 hours 9.23 according to google yeah and i was gonna drop my sister off at home and she's like oh let's go for like a little bit of a late night shop so that is what we've done mia's in bed um with marcus, marcus is fed no 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 marcus isn't fed i'm gonna pick him some food up but yeah we're gonna quickly go for like a quick late night primark shop um i just need some tights it's 9 p.m late night we just met the nicest girl in boots who works there um who was saying hi to us Basically, if some of the shops are open until 10, oh, I don't think, oh, I really want to know if Zara's open until 10. I don't think they will be, but I'm gonna try my luck and see whether <laughs> um, they are open. Cause <laughs> there's that cardigan that I bought my, for my friend's daughter. And basically I'm gonna just see if I can squeeze into like age 13 to 14. <laughs> um, because it's just such a nice cardigan, so I'd really like one for myself. Don't want to order it online, but I'd just go see and size it up a little bit. But yeah, I really want to go and see if they have it. Hopefully it's open. If it is, Zara will probably have a queue, but we'll see. So, Primark had an hour's queue, and it's a firm no from me. I'm not going to wait for an hour because, although Mia is down, she'll probably wake up again. So I'm really sorry, it basically had a failed shopping trip. Um, but maybe I'll be able to do something exciting for you guys at some point but going to Primark at 3am or even half 9 is not going to be it um, so I'm just going to grab Marcus and food, drop off my sister and head straight home <laughs>